Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've converted a few steppers lately into power generators. This one is a four-wire bipolar motor from a printer. I'm using my ohm meter to see which terminal goes to which coil. There are two, and I'm going to tie them together in series with a small jumper wire. Now stepper motors will output AC power, and I need DC power, so I'm going to use this salvage rectifier to get what I want. Now with the rectifier temporarily in place, I can use the voltmeter to see if I'll be able to charge a phone through a USB charger, because it will regulate the output of the voltage to a stable 5 volts. The one with the two blue blades is the motor from the printer, and it got up to 32 volts, which is way more than necessary. We also unintentionally tested this one's blades to failure. Inside this 3D printed to sell is the NEMA 17 stepper motor that you'll find in a 3D printer or beginner's Arduino kit. A set of 3D printed blades is then pressed onto the shaft. And the point of this test is to see how many volts we get and if it actually works at all. 29, 25, 27, wow. Now the question remained of the relationship between voltage and wind speed. 52! Wow, that's way more than I expected. Are we ready to go? Yep. All right, experiment's running. We're gonna start off going five miles per hour. The reason we're using this car is because it has a digital uh, speedometer. And so there's no ambiguity as to how fast we're going. It looks like the cut-in speed is about five miles per hour. With the speed and voltage charted, I mounted it to the top of my truck and drove around the neighborhood a bit. 11. Now, of course, mounting a windmill to a car is dumb for all sorts of reasons, but for testing and calibration, it's okay. I'm sure a stationary version of this has some practical use, like LED lighting or phone charging. I've already updated the nacelle to contain the electronics and tilt up to lessen the stress on the system during high winds. What a fun project so far, but there's still more to do. And I'm gonna put updates in a future video, but hopefully this is enough inspiration to get you started. Now, of course, all the STL files for my windmills are available for download at mikesinventions.com. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.